All right, so some pathology uh, for radiology techs that I want you to be aware of. So study of disease, okay. Um, pathogenesis, sequence of events producing cellular changes, manifestations or observable changes, signs and symptoms, right? One is subjective, one is objective. What is a syndrome, group of signs and symptoms, etiology, study of the origin, um, idiopathic, no real cause. Go, I want you to review terms acute versus chronic and diagnosis versus prognosis. Some adaptations to cellular biology, All right? So this would be normal atrophy, decreased cell size, hypertrophy, increased. Hyperplasia, increased cell number, metaplasia, conversion of one cell type to another, and dysplasia, disorderly growth. Make sure you know those. Those will be on your test, okay? Inflammatory response, so some red flags, I call them. Um, or cardinal signs is redness, pain, and often decrease in function or range of motion. All right, so types of inflammatory response can be abscess, ulcers, cellulitis, or edema. So you can see this is a normal foot here, foot with edema. There's some pitting here. Um, ulcer opening on the bottom. You can see that in the foot x-ray, right? Atrophy again would be decrease in size of the cells. Common causes, lack of physical activity, poor nourishment, some nerve damage, poor circulation. Hypertrophy is increase in um, cell size. So something that's larger. So if you remember your body habitus, asthenic is your thin, small. Hypersthenic is your larger obese patient, right? So increase. So increase in physical activity can increase the size, right? Hormonal changes, chronic inflammation. So this is a large adenoid mass here. And in this one, you can see their chest wall is basically caved in. So that's a decrease in size. Disease classification. So if you can go through these types, congenital, present from birth, hereditary, transmitted from parent, inflammatory. Okay, makes sense, right? Degenerative was be a deterioration, so osteoporosis is an example of that. Metabolic, um, diabetes is an example. Traumatic, so fractures, burns, something being caused. Um, neoplastic or neoplasm results in the new abnormal tissue growth. They can be benign or malignant tumors. Oncology, study of neoplasms here. So benign is self-limited and will not spread. Bone benign tumors are called osteoma. Malignant will spread. Bone malignant tumors, osteosarcoma. So make yourself some flashcards for those terms for me, okay? Neoplasm, um, four major cancer ca categories. So carcinoma and adenocarcinoma. This will arise from epithelial cells or tissues such as breast, colon, or pancreas. Sarcoma. Relatively rare, but highly malignant. So this is the cancer of the soft tissue or connective tissue. So bone, cartilage, muscle, and fat. Leukemia, cancer of the blood. Um, acute leukemia has immature blood cells that can't fight infection. And chronic is mature blood cells. Lymphoma originates in the lymphatic tissues. Um, it affects the production of lymphocytes, which are your white blood cells. There are two different types. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is most common. It affects your spleen, liver, bone marrow, lymph nodes, and GI tract. And Hodgkin's lymph nodes, swollen, and rubbery, diagnosed by a biopsy. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma um, will begin with the lymph nodes and spleen, metastasize the liver, kidney, spine, brain, lungs, and bone. Um, metastasis are the most common malignant bone tumors. So this image is demonstrating uh, what we call as ivory spine. So you can see these vertebrae that are identified in these pictures here are almost solid white and unlike the regular bones that you can see around. So this is what an ivory spine, so this is metastasis to the spine example. Just a review of opaque and lucent versus radiopaque or radiolucent, right? So opaque um, area of the patient that is absorbed or scattered, 
It's the whiter areas, so opaque, actually blocks the x-ray, shows up as a light color, so that patient has a hip replacement showing up white, right? Um, lucent or lucency, um, passing through, shows up as a dark color. What's dark on your x-ray? Air, right? So air passes through. So make sure we go over those, review those, make yourself a flashcard. Radio opaque, radio lucent. Density. So I want you to know these densities in order. Okay, air, fat, fluid or soft tissue, calcium, metal, um, what their appearance is, and the thickness of the absorbing matter, what it's going to look like grayscale, right? Air, you want to be black, metal, white. All right, so make sure you know those. Those potentially will be on your boards. You may have to do a drag and drop type thing. They may give you examples here, and you're going to drag and drop um, least dense to more dense, something like that, okay? Skeletal system pathology, silly pictures just for fun. Um, cervical rib, it's an extra rib attached to C7. All right. um, it's um, usually unilateral, but can be bilateral as well. Osgood-Schlatter disease is when the tibial tuberosity becomes inflamed, usually following exercise, right? The patellar tendon can cause the area of the tibial tuberosity to become a bolst, right, or pulled away. It mainly affects boys 10 to 16. Um, it's the most common cause of knee pain in young adults, and treatments usually just rest. Osteogenesis imperfecta, or sometimes it's abbreviated as OI, or they call it the brittle bone disease. It's a rare congenital bone disorder that's um, characterized by bones that break extremely easily. Um, the people with OI are born with insufficient amounts of protein called collagen 1, uh, which plays an important role in the bone formation. So they may actually have um, fractures from in the womb before they're even born. Uh, many infants are stillborn or die shortly after birth, depending on the severity of OI. Osteopetrosis. Watch the terms here because this looks a lot like osteoporosis. And the boards love to trip you up with these kind of terminologies. So watch the petrosis, um, porosis, right? Watch those terms, okay? This is a very rare condition, and it's, ter it's termed marble bone. The bones are very hard and dense, but are actually more brittle than normal. It can be fatal at birth or asymptomatic. Um, there's no definitive treatment, but you can see how white they are, almost marble-like, all right? Okay, so petrosis, not the same as osteoporosis. There we go, osteoporosis here. Osteoporosis is a reduction in bone mass, okay, causing a high chance of fracturing. Usually aging, postmenopausal hormonal changes, um, a lot of steroid use, osteogenesis imperfecta, multiple myeloma, the depot birth control shot, and inactivity. These patients that have osteoporosis are prone to hip fractures, compression fractures, and Coley's fracture of the wrist. They usually do a bone depth cytometry or bone D or a DEXA scan to diagnose how dense their bones out. The bones are just going to look a little washed out, a little thinner, right? Not as bright as your um, average bones, okay? Osteomalacia is um, sometimes called rickets. It's the softening of bones, and it's usually caused by a decrease in absorption of either vitamin D or calcium. And it can manifest in children who ingest an insufficient amount of vitamin D or they're not exposed to enough sunlight. For us, for our protocol at our clinical site, um, we use bilateral wrists and bilateral knees um, views if they come in requesting a rickets protocol. It may cause the bowing of bones or lead to green stick fractures as well. Osteomyelitis, bone infection, causes a destructive destruction and abscess formation. So you can see this circle here. There's an infection of the bone there. Um, Brody's abscess is typically found in the tibia, an indication of osteomyelitis. It can be acute or chronic, um, usually treated with prolonged antibiotic therapy. 
osteoarthritis. It's the most common degenerative joint disease characterized by a natural loss of joint cartilage. It's related to but not caused by aging. Um, so you can often see bone spurs that form and they cause some painful inflammation. It can affect most joints in the body and treatment is pain management and or joint replacement surgery, usually total hip or total knee. And in this knee image, you can see a total loss of joint space. So a lot of times we do our standing knees for this reason. We're looking for compression of the joint space. Rheumatoid arthritis or RA, a type of arthritis that can involve joints, muscles, tendons, ligaments, tendons again, <laughs> and blood vessels, right? Um, it usually begins as chronic inflammation of synovial membranes. RA can relapse, but can have intermittent flare-ups. It affects women three more times than men. Usually some signs and symptoms are morning stiffness or pain and ulnar deviation of the fingers. Gout. Um, it's an increase of uric acid production. Most often you're going to do foot x-rays for gout, but you may do a hand. This is an extremely severe hand. Um, it's usually in the great toe. It can affect your hands and knees, right? But the joint deposits um, in the form of crystals, and they're very painful. So circle this uric acid for gout for me. Paget's disease. It's also known as osteitis deformans. Do me a favor. Circle that, underline it. This almost always is a question on boards, okay? Pagets. It's um, usually excessive bone growth and thickening, most commonly seen in pelvis, lumbar spine, and skull. Most often they're going to give you either this pelvis image or this spine. It kind of looks like cotton wool, all right, around here, kind of fuzzy. So Pagets, know this one for me, okay? bone tumors, either they're osteolytic or osteoblastic. So osteolytic is a decrease of bone density and they have lucent appearance. Osteoblastic is increase and have opaque appearance. So osteolytic versus osteoblastic, All right? Multiple myeloma, it's the most common type of primary malignant bone tumor. It has this punched out appearance, right? If you have, I think you have a hole puncher almost here. Increase in plasma cells. Um, the cardinal sign is osteoporosis with a compression fracture. There's currently no treatment. Um, chemotherapy, stem cells, and steroids are used for suppression and containment. Osteosarcoma. 50% um, of them are found in the knee, most commonly found in patients aged 10 to 25, but it's the second most common type of malignant bone tumor. Chondrosarcoma is developed in the cartilage cells and fibrosarcoma, fibrous tissue. So fibrous, fibro, chondro, cartilage. Spondylo, spondylosis versus spondylolisthesis. Another trick the boards love to use because these words look so similar. All right, but this is a cleft between the superior and inferior articular processes at the pars interarticularis, usually bilateral, common found 90% of the time at L5, S1. Okay, so right here, spondylolisthesis is forward movement for subluxation of one vertebrae onto the one below it. All right, a lot of times we do spondylolisthesis, we do flexion and extension lumbar spines, looking for that forward movement. All right, meet me back here for chest and abdomen pathology.